going to use this dice and I'm going to start a song. I'm going to give it a name first and then start a song. And um, when I'm done, I'm going to pass it to you, Cam, and you do the same. But now the only thing which will change is that I'm going to give it a name for you and you don't have a choice, but start a song based on the name that I would have given to the dice. And then after that, you name it and give it to Mish. So my name for the dice is love. All you need is love. All you need is love. Cool. Now I'm giving it to you and I'm naming it a car. <laughs> So please stand up and also show us some dance moves. It's a boom boom. It's a boom boom. It's a boom boom. But then remember, you also have to mention ka. Ka. It's a boom boom. <laughs> it's a boom boom. Okay. Uh, and now I'm going to give the dice to Mish. I'm going to name it. Are you ready? <laughs> ready. We make it rain. <laughs> make it rain on them more. We make it rain. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. So, how did it feel for you uh, when I gave it to you and you don't have a choice to change the name, but all you have to do is just to come up with a song and to also dance and... How, how was it for you? I'm comfortable. Okay. And why? I can dance, I can sing, I don't know any song that has the word quiet. Okay. And Mish, for you? So I found it difficult and also unnatural because I was, to speak the truth, actually anxious to say what is he going to say. Yes. And when he mentioned that, I didn't think of any song. It's not a song that I'm comfortable singing, that I had to sing, but I just found a song that just got the, the word that it mentioned in this instance, right? Okay, cool. So in our lives, this is what normally happens. And most people go through life with the same feeling that it's so uncomfortable to do life. And some people find life to be difficult. And some, it's not natural to do their life because of the same thing that happened to us where people or it could be people in your own family it could be people in your own community or anywhere in life where they give you the whole concept of how to do your life and you don't have a choice but do what move on with your life and do things that are given to you without a choice and as, as we all saw that it's so uncomfortable and i don't believe and i don't think that there's anyone who'd like to live 75 years, if you are lucky enough to get there, doing life in an uncomfortable way, in a difficult way, and not being yourself. And the whole concept is called... Hot potato. Right? Why is it hot? Because when it was given down to you, you said it was uncomfortable. So let's just pretend this is a hot potato, right? <laughs> right? This, is, this is what happens, right? You, 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 you do life doing what? Juggling the whole potato because it's burning your hands. It's burning you. And that's why you find it like it's uncomfortable. And um, that's why we, we, we just can't wait for the next day. You can't wait and we say, no, I'm just passing time. What are you doing? I'm passing time. It's so difficult. How are you doing? Oh, I'm fair to get some. Because you are doing life with what? This hot potato. And this hot potato now, look, this is a story that is passed on to you. Isn't it? And I'm going to, to share a story that I, I went through um, since I was born. My dad was a pastor, still is a pastor and his dad was also a pastor and that has been the story in our family and since i, I got aware or i became aware of life i was always in church and i saw my dad doing life as a pastor and that's what i believed i should also do and it was 
somehow passed on to me because I did not know anything else how to do life, but become a pastor, become this person uh, who helps other people. But after four years, when I also took the decision to become a pastor, the decision which was passed on to me like a hot potato. And when I look back at it now, and why am I saying so? Because it was not easy for me. It felt like a chore or hard labor for me, and it felt so uncomfortable. It felt so difficult for me to wake up and become a pastor. It felt not natural because I wanted to do other things, but because this has been what was happening in my life, I also find, found myself doing what? Having to deal with this hot potato. And that is why um, life was so difficult for me. And But then I'm not saying to the next person, might be a hot potato, because if it's not difficult for you, if it's not uh, unnatural for you to do it, then you are okay, it's not a hot potato. And now I also think, and we can also maybe relate to this, uh, that this is a tale, this is a story which happened to my dad and to his dad, and it was passed on to me. Right? This is what belongs in the past. But from the moment we talk about it, from the moment I put myself into it, then it's not in the past anymore. It becomes what belonged in the past, but I gave it life by focusing on it and by talking about it and also putting myself through it. And, and that's why, you know, sometimes you feel like I'm doing this, but it's so, so uncomfortable for you because you are living what other people had passed on to you. And I, the, what it takes, it might sound simple, but what it takes is just a choice to be aware of your decisions and to decide now, I'm going to have a look at this as a hot potato. Do you decide to carry on with it? Do I stop and do things that I want to do and not allow what was passed on to me, put this into my shoulder, I mean, into my life or over my shoulders, just a choice. And you need to identify those things that were passed on to you and stop.